Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my May favorites and it doesn't look like a lot but I mean it might add up to be a lot like because I have a lot of products that I found that I liked this month and since I'm new to YouTube I kind of just want to share my other kind of products that I like to go to a lot that I just can't put down. So let's just get right into it. I have been in love and I mean like in love, like I can't put this thing down, with the Shade and Light con or Contour Palette. palette. Um, it's from Kat Von D and I just love it. I used it today, I use it every day. Um, I really like these three shades, these ones, just because this one's a nice like gray brown color and it's it just makes more of a shadow and then I like this one to like blend it all out so it looks like you know summery and sun kissed and such and I like this middle shade because it's perfect for my skin tone where it's not like too bright where it just looks cakey and just way too light you know you ever get that so this one's like the perfect shade for someone like m my skin tone and someone that just wants something like nice and you know natural looking I don't have any other contour palettes to compare it to, but for my first buy for a contour palette, I really suggest this one. I feel like it's very blendable and it's like a little goes a long way and you really get the bang for your buck with this guy. So that's why I've been liking this guy. Also from the drugstore, I've been loving the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. I just find it's really good and I have it in light and there's nothing bad I can say about this like out of all the other concealers I've tried from the drugstore I think this is the one I'm just gonna keep going back to like I just tried it and I am head over heels for it so if you guys want a new concealer I suggest this guy he's really good and very blendable and doesn't does, it does it's not cakey you know you don't want cakey under eye so this guy is really good and light but still covers what needs to be covered um I've also been really liking this blush from Becca and it's my first Becca product and I love it. I already have other Becca products now in my cart and believe me, they're good. They're, I'm in love. Just straight up in love. And this is the, I think I said it wrong in my other video, but it's Damn Self Fly. Leave a comment below if, if I'm saying it wrong, please. <laughs> but. It's a mineral blush and I like it a lot. It just gives that natural, natural like, sh not not shimmer, because it's not really shimmery, but it gives like a nice like glow to your face. I also have a highlight on, but I'm wearing it today. And I just love this, like I go to it every day, no matter if I'm trying to dress it up or just like something really, really neutral and like something that I could go to school in or go downtown like I just love this guy and I'm gonna get more of them and just one more beauty product will be this mascara and it's also from the drugstore it's covergirl the super sizer I love this I've been trying to look for a really good mascara that has like a nice small wand for my small eyes and my eyelashes are very just straight and tiny so I found it and I am in love with this brush and it kind of goes like small to bigger and I there's nothing wrong to say with this like I prefer small brushes just because then you can build up the volume that you want or like the length instead of having a big brush where it just like clumps and just gives you like spider lashes that you don't want this this mascara gives you like nice like long like non clumpy lashes can you tell I'm wearing it I like it a lot and I got mine in very black. I'm pretty sure they have like browns and like not so much black. For hair care, I had bought this guy from Winners actually and I'm not sure if they have that in the States but um, I got this from Winners in Courtney and it says it's a Numi. Yeah, a Numi product but I'm not sure if it actually is just because it is from Winners. I always wanted a clipless curling iron I had a non-clip one but I still used it as a non non-clip you know what I mean 
So I finally just bit the bullet and bought this. And this was from Winners is really inexpensive. I think I got it for $35. So I mean, can't go wrong for spending that much money on this like curling iron, right? So I know they had more. They had like more with bigger barrels and smaller barrels and some came with clips and all that. Mine just came with the barrel and a glove. Um, yeah, go get one because they're really inexpensive instead of like paying so much more money for like I think they're like round out for like 200 bucks maybe and you could get this guy from winners from anywhere from like $40 to $35 like can't go wrong saving some money and it does the same thing anyway so for some non-beauty not really non-beauty but non-makeup and hair care and all that stuff um I have been obsessed with this guy and it's from Scentsies and it's the pineapple sor sorbet but I just got this yesterday but literally it smells like Hawaii and I um have gone there twice so uh I know what it smells like but I really like this guy from Scentsies and I have a whole like drawer full of scents that I have but I have to say this one's like my favorite not just of the month but just forever like I will continuously buy this guy like I've only used one since I got it just like a couple days ago but oh man this thing is gonna last me forever because I have just a small room to make smell and just one of these guys like it's like Hawaii up here I just need some palm trees some mixed drinks right guys with little <laughs> umbrellas in it you know what I'm saying but I really like Scentsies and all the scents they come out with but this has to be hands down my favorite of them all so far their non-beauty favorite of mine is I've been on this really good health kick with my boyfriend like working out and eating healthy and you know being a girl and trying to get that some abroad even though it's summer is like right around the corner I've been on this eating like eating healthy kick being healthy and doing all these healthy things going for hikes going to the gym everything so still get like when I have like when I get a sweet tooth which is like every day I love to eat these quest bars and my favorite is the cookies and cream and it is so good guys I mean all of the quest bars my boyfriend likes them all but for some reason, I just, I've just been obsessed with just this one. I've tried, I think, four other types, but I guess I'm not that much of like a chocolate person or, you know, just any of that kind of stuff, but I love this guy. He is so good. You can microwave him to like make him softer, but I just like to eat it just right out of the package and just eat it on the go. Like when I'm driving, I'll bring one of these guys to school or just for a little snack because they're they're really good and they're really good for you like they have 21 grams of protein which is really good for you especially for me because I don't eat a lot of protein to start with so I know I need a lot of these guys to anything with protein in them for me like I know chicken does but like anything that's easy and on the go for me to just make and eat because you know how much chicken can you really eat a day right so I like these guys just for a quick protein bar and it's really good especially if you're drinking some green tea and like drink green tea and that and it's just like heaven forever <laughs> like I will continuously buy that same box and I won't even mix them because I like cookies and cream the most so anybody in this house shouldn't really touch my cookies and cream just kidding on another note for another fitness thing or fitness favorite of mine this month and I've only had it for a few few weeks, not even, but is this fitness log from bodybuilding.com. And this guy has saved my life. I had this little notebook that you can really use that you just write down your workouts and like write down goals and all that kind of stuff. But this makes it really, really easy. Like it already has places where you put your workouts and how many reps and how many, like how much weight you use. And then at the bottom it has notes. And then my boyfriend left me a little cute little note down there. But if you do cardio, you can write it down there. And also, you put the day and how what time you went to the gym or wherever you work out. You put it in there. And it has all of those throughout the book. And then it has this middle sheet where it shows you, like, recipes that you can find on their website. And I order my protein and my pre-workout. And my boyfriend had just bought me some 
woman um woman nutrition pills kind of like thing so they're a really good site and i like them a lot like they have everything you pretty much need and they have kick-ass recipes and like workouts on there that you can do from home or like at the gym and I just like it a lot it just makes my life easier especially with this book because then I don't need to like fumble around with what I don't know what to do and how I need to write it down like it just all comes in this book and by the end of like say by my birthday when I want to lose like a couple pounds right um I could just go back and look at this and see how heavy I was and what my measurements were I remember I measure myself again and see like what I was doing to get there so it's kind of just like a little journal for your workouts and stuff which I like a lot because I am really into writing stuff down so yeah if you guys want to want one of these it's from bodybuilding.com this is one of my May favorites and I just have one more thing to talk about before this video is over. I've only found this yesterday and I have found so many recipes that I wanna try already and it's called the Hungry Girl Diet, which I'm a hungry girl and I am on a diet. But uh, it comes with all these yummy looking recipes that you can make. Like, look at it, look at it. it just looks good. Like, it doesn't look like you're trying to lose weight. But um, yeah, they're in it, like on some of the recipes, it shows like how much calories, I don't know if you can see that. How much calories, how much protein, how much fat, how much carb. Like all the stuff that you really need to know is in this book for when you need to log it down. Either in your like fitness log or like when you're just measuring stuff out to make sure you're not eating too much or eating too, eating too little. So, and like I said, it just has a lot of good recipes that look really yummy. That doesn't even look like you're trying to starve yourself or give up the things that you really want to try. Like they have some brownie stuff in here. They have some like cookie stuff in here they have mac and cheese in here they have like everything beyond the world in this book and I'm so excited to try some recipes in it like I can't wait to get go get some rest like get some get some ingredients that I need and like cook it up and hopefully hopefully it tastes good hopefully fingers crossed but I'll just feed it to the little brother and he'll eat it <laughs> I know they come up with different kind of books for different kind of stuff that you need like hunger girl 20 under 20 calories and the one I want to get is the Hungry Girl Happy Hour. And it's 75 recipes for amazingly fantastic guilt-free cocktails and party foods. Which, I mean, the summer is coming. You're going to obviously want to have a few drinks and, like, have, like, kind of, like, get-togethers and have, like, food out for everybody. But this is still, like, a guilt-free thing. So I know that's the next book I'll be getting for sure. But this one has been my, like, I'm obsessed. And I just got this yesterday. Like, I'm so excited to try all of these recipes, which I feel like I've been saying over and over again. But, yeah. So, I got this at Superstore, which I'm pretty sure you can find it probably in any kind of bookstore, like Chapters or maybe Walmart has them. But I know this is, for what I paid for it, I am obsessed. It has so many recipes and 200 new recipes. So, you really get a lot out of it. So yeah guys, that was it for my May favorites. I hope you enjoyed everything I had to share with you and my opinions on everything. And if you guys have any different kind of May favorites, leave the comment or leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up and please like, share and subscribe. Thanks guys. See you in my next video.